Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to show you how to make this really cute drawstring bag. Now it's got a little ruffle at the top. I'm using two different fabrics on the outside, plus it has these little prairie points. Now for the amount of fabric that you need and all your cutting instructions, they're going to be be listed below the YouTube screen. All right, let's get started on making this bag. Here's how you would place your fabric to cut it for your drawstrings and your lining. You would leave the fabric folded like it was when you purchased it off the bolt with the selvage edges together. Then to cut your drawstrings out of whatever fabric you choose, you would cut this edge straight, then move over two inches and cut, and move over two inches again and cut. Then for your lining, whatever fabric you choose to cut your lining, you would basically do the same thing. Just make sure this edge here is straight first. Move it over 18 inches and cut. Then for all of your other fabric pieces, check below your YouTube screen for the size of the fabrics to cut. Here's how you make a prairie point. So with your squares, you'll have the back side facing up and you do this at your ironing board. Fold it corner to corner and then press with your iron. Then fold it again and press. And that's how you make a prairie point. Take fabric A for the bottom of the drawstring bag then to, and have the front side facing up. Take your prairie points and at the opposite ends, you're going to place your prairie points. And if you notice, I have them overlapped. So try to evenly space. Then at your sewing machine, set your machine for a basting stitch and go close to the edge and do a basting stitch to hold them in place. And you do that at opposite ends. Now take your two pieces of fabric that are fabric B for the top of the drawstring bag and place them at opposite ends. So you're going to lay them on top of your prairie points and line it up across this edge and then this edge here. Go ahead and place pins all the way across and also place this other piece at the opposite end as I said earlier line it up on the edge right here. Make sure you pin it across here. Then at each end, you're gonna stitch a one quarter inch seam along here, and remember, a quarter inch seam along here. Now, press the seam on the back side with your uh, fabric B facing up at you. Then unfold it like this, where your prairie points are facing down this way, and then this fabric is folded out, go ahead and press along this seam. Then you're gonna do some top stitching and you're gonna do it on fabric B. That's the fabric that's up near the top of the bag. So here's the seam that you just stitched. Go up this way about an eighth of an inch and stitch all the way across from side to side. This is my lining fabric. So I haven't cut my selvage edges off yet, but I will in just a moment. So take your li lining piece after you've cut it 18 inches wide and unfold it and have the outside of the fabric facing up or your pretty side. Take your fabric for the outside that you've already stitched together and lay it front side down or pretty side down on top of your lining fabric. So you now you have front sides together of both of your fabrics. Line it up along this edge and this edge. You're going to have some fabric sticking out on each end of your drawstring bag. Now you're going to cut it even with your fabric for the outside. This way you get an exact fit. Because sometimes when you're stitching on fabrics, the length or overall size of the fabric can change. So that's why when you can, save some of the cutting till later. 
and that's what we're doing in this case. So I'm lining it up along the edge of my top fabric or outside fabric, cutting this end off. And now I'm going to go to the other end and cut that end also off. Place pins around all of the edges to hold the fabrics together. At one of the ends, you're going to leave an opening that's large enough for your hand to go through. And on each side of the opening when you're stitching, you're going to back stitch. Remember, back stitch on each side of the opening. Then start here, and you're going to stitch all the edges together. So uh, stitch a one quarter inch seam all the way down to the other end, come up around, and then stop here and remember to back stitch. At all four corners, you want to trim them down to about an eighth of an inch wide. So just go along like this, and then take just a little bit off of each side of the corner. And again, do this at all four corners. Now reach in through your opening and begin turning it front side out. After you've turned it front side out, reach inside and poke at your corners so that they come out as much as possible. Then press the entire bag flat around all of the edges. While you're pressing, fold your opening edges in a quarter of an inch and press. Then place pins to hold your opening closed. Then after you've pinned it closed, at your sewing machine, you're not only going to stitch this opening closed, but you're going to stitch around all of the edges, close to the edge, all the way around all four sides. Have the lining side of the bag facing up. Take each end and fold it over two inches and then pin it down. Then take a ruler and put the one inch line on your ruler on the very edge right there. So place it on there and then with either a fabric marker or a pencil draw a line. Remember you're doing this at both ends of the bag. Then stitch right on that line all the way across. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to make your drawstrings. Now you're making two drawstrings. They're about two inches wide by around 40 inches long. So take those drawstrings. Now this is just sample fabric. This isn't the really long ones. But at each end of your drawstrings, you're going to fold the ends over one quarter inch and press. Then fold it again in half like this and press. Then after you've done that, take it again and you're going to unfold it so that it's back out like this. Then take the edges, bringing, it, bringing them in to that center fold line and press it all the way down. Then press it one more time, fold in half and press. Then stitch across each end and then across the side all the way down. And when you're done, this is what your drawstrings should look like. Unfold this end of the casing. Now this casing is what's going to hold your drawstrings. Place one of the drawstrings along the inside of this casing. You're only going to have about three inches on this side and the rest of it is hanging way out on the other side. Now take your other drawstring, place about three inches out at this end, and then place the rest of it where it's hanging out across the other end. Then fold this casing over, and you want the casing pushed up against that stitch line that you just did. Place pins along here, all the way across so that it all stays in place. Then after you've finished pinning it all the way across, then you're going to stitch right along the edge here, all the way across. Now place the front side of the bag facing up, and you've got your drawstrings out right here. Take the other end and bring it on top. 
and you're going to lift this up, take the long piece over on this side and lay it across. Then take the long piece from the other end and lay it across. And then fold this over, pin it down, and then make sure you're not stitching on your drawstrings. And then stitch close to this edge all the way across. Before you start stitching this last section here, make sure you fold this other end back and out of the way so you don't stitch the two ends together. Then after you've done that, just take your two ends at each side and just pull them out a little bit so that it's uh, the little piece that's bending around the corner is up a little close to the sides here. Leave the bag folded in half and you're looking at the lining side. Place pins along each side. Then you're going to begin stitching about a half an inch from the lower part of this casing. So go down about a half an inch, back stitch, and stitch all the way down to the end. And you're going to just stitch right over that previous stitch line that you did earlier. And remember, you're doing this side also. On each side, take your two ends of your drawstring and tie them in a knot like this is right here. Now turn the bag front side out. Poke your corners out at the bottom. And then when you're done, take your drawstrings and just Pull it close. I hope you learned something new doing this tutorial. Now, if you're interested in a drawstring bag that's just very, very basic, you're using just one piece of fabric on the inside and one on the outside, then look for the link to this uh, drawstring bag below your YouTube screen. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is Scotty and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!